Right. No, and on a positive note, <laughs> that's right. to say that, uh, what I, my, what my experience with El Salvador was that the circular economy is is nowhere near, you know, what um, one might hope, right? It's in certain specific areas I could see Bitcoin being used, and as I mentioned to you earlier, I was there for about a month. I went there for adopting Bitcoin, and. I can summarize my trip as being divided into two very, very different experiences. The first two weeks of my trip there was adopting Bitcoin, was being surrounded by Bitcoiners and people that use Lightning, going to El Zonte, going to these areas where, yes, Bitcoin is put forward. And so at, at that moment, I thought, that's incredible. That's amazing. There's so much that can be done here. And I love it. The second part of the week, uh, the second part of the trip, two two weeks after, I spent a lot more time surrounded by just locals, uh, by people that had never heard about Bitcoin, that maybe knew of it through Bukele, uh, that liked what Bukele was doing, but really that had no um, real idea of what it was. They just knew it sort of existed and they saw it as a government thing. Yeah. The reason I started by saying Bitcoin as a bad note, let's say, and, and ending on the positive note is, is that I actually preferred the second part of the trip. Not because people didn't know about Bitcoin, but because I got to see and understand more about the Salvadorian people and understanding at a very superficial level, uh, the amount of suffering that had gone through and that's in, in, in the people of El Salvador. And understanding the amount of change that had taken place in the last couple of months, even prior to my trip there, um, what had been done through you know, removing a lot of the criminality, a lot of the gang issues that were in El Salvador. And so speaking with the Salvadoran people, I got to understand that it's probably one of the most positive people that I've ever met, that have the most positive outlook on the future because they think the worst is behind them. And for anyone living in the West, it's pretty uh, it's pretty common that when you talk even with young people and people in my generation or, or even older or younger, um, it's a lot of doomsday talk. It's a lot about you know climate change and how the older generations had it better. And you're looking up in the past and down in the future. You're, you're thinking that you're going to be worse off. And so speaking with people in El Salvador, I got the refreshing opposite of people <clears throat> that are looking at the future in a positive light. And that to me is going to be what enables Bitcoin to really get adopted. Because once you see Bitcoin as a positive force for the future, and you have a positive outlook on the future, the two together are just additive. Right. And and to me, through the work that Bukele is doing, but also from grassroots movements or the work that Mi Primer Bitcoin is doing on the education side. And yeah, with John Dennehy. Absolutely. And his amazing team. Um, that's going to bring the foundations that you need to, to, to take that adoption forward. <clears throat> And I do believe uh, I do believe the Salvadorian people is one of the most open to to that adoption.